Hey all, Hiba here. Today we're talking Baldur's Gate 3, so don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, lots of Baldur's Gate stuff coming. So uh, this video here is all about how can you have a party of just two people. Uh, for example, if you want to play this game only with a friend, so you know, couch co-op, just the two of you, and you don't want to have a whole party of, you know, complaining Asterians to, uh, to worry about. So uh, in this video I'll show you how to do it and uh, the easiest way to actually achieve it because obviously it's going to be a bit harder because you're missing, you know, half your party. <laughs> so a few adjustments has to be made on console. Now uh, on PC there's actually a mod that'll fix this but on consoles you are kind of on your own and uh, I'll show you here how to do it. So uh, if you ever played Larian's uh, previous game Divinity Original Sin 1 or Original Sin 2 You'll know that in those games, if you just wanted to play two players, you didn't want to worry about a whole party, you could pick a uh, talent called Lone Wolf, which would pretty much, uh, you know, buff that one character, so it's almost as powerful as two characters. But uh, then, of course, you're unable to pick up a companion. Now, uh, this is uh, missing in Baldur's Gate 3, and it's quite an oversight, I think, in, uh, in my opinion, because I know a lot of people want to play this game just two people. They don't want to worry about a party. And, uh, you know, I'll show you how to do it and uh, pretty much get around this limitation here uh, in Baldur's Gate 3. So uh, the easiest way to do this is just to uh, adjust the difficulty, right? So uh, Explorer, you can do it by just picking the Explorer, but it's still going to be a little bit hard with just two players. So if you don't want to worry too much, you want to play the game, have fun, like for example with your spouse or whatever, maybe someone who's not very good at games, uh, I suggest that you go to the custom mode. And uh, enemy aggression, you put that one on Explorer, uh, meaning the easiest. Character powers, you put that on Explorer as well. Enemy loadout, you put that on Explorer again. And uh, additional combat mechanics, also Explorer. Proficiency bonus, pop that up to a four, so you will uh, have less trouble rolling the dice. And uh, this is important, enemy critical hits, turn that off. If you're only going to do one thing, this is the one you should do. Because uh, this will give you uh, a better chance of making it ju with just two players. And uh, this will lower the difficulty to a level where two players can handle the game. Uh, of course you can just go in and fiddle with this as long as you get stronger if you think things are too easy. So a uh, camp cost multiplier, I uh, also uh, smack that one down to half uh, just to make it a little bit uh, easier to you know, sleep because you don't have four people collecting stuff. Short rests, full heal, you can put this one on as well. Uh, you know, it's up to you. But uh, if you want to make it easy and make sure you can do it with two players, you should do exactly what I'm doing here. Trader price modifier, you can also adjust that to one. So that's pretty much it. Now the game is uh, pretty much as easy as it can be. And it should be like this if you're going to try to beat it with just a party of two players, just in co-op or local co-op, right? So of course it also means that there's a lot less micromanagement because you only have to worry about two characters, not four characters, right? Now I know from experience that a party of four can be a little bit exhausting uh, to keep accessorizing them all the time and making sure that, you know, Asterion is happy and, you know, they're all happy. And uh, this way you just have to worry about your own character and of course your other player has to worry about their character. So uh, this way, uh, it works really well, I must say. So uh, of course the story part of the game is going to be the same or, or very similar, uh, depending if you play with two or four players. You're going to miss out on some things, of course, because you don't have any of the, uh, the characters or most of the characters. So uh, you're just going to have to live with that or you can decide to uh, pick the characters up for your party and just leave them uh, behind when you go exploring. So leave them at camp, right? So if you choose not to pick up any characters for your party, it also means that your camp is going to be pretty easy. Uh, you just go there to sleep and uh, rest, basically. That's it. There's going to be no one waking you up in the middle of the night that you have to romance or anything like that. Uh, you just go there, you sleep, and that's about it. So it's very quick and you don't have to worry about talking to everyone and making everyone happy uh, if that's what you want. You know, it, it actually saves a lot of time. But of course you are going to miss out on some story elements, actually a lot of story elements. But if you just want to play the game and have fun, this is the way to do it. So that's pretty much all there is to it, right? Uh, the combat is going to be doable, it's still going to be difficult. Um, and if you 
you know, crank the difficulty up a little bit, uh, suddenly it's going to be overwhelming with just two players. So uh, if you get into a fight that you just can't beat, uh, don't be afraid to lower the difficulty all the way down to the level that I showed uh, before. Especially turning off critical strikes for enemies is going to uh, to give you the upper hand in most battles with just uh, two players. Of course, it's not going to be easy, I'm not saying that, but it's going to be doable. Now, I really hope that Larian adds the Lone Wolf trait to Baldur's Gate 3, because it's really missing. Uh, like I said earlier, if you just want to play this game with two players, just local co-op in the couch with your, uh, you know, partner or whatever. Uh, this is the way to go until Larian actually adds, if they ever do, the Lone Wolf trait. So uh, I hope this helped, and uh, a lot of you have asked about this, so uh, hopefully this uh, will clear it up. So uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you out there.